Good Sunday evening to you all. Let's get right into our temperatures because we all know it is hot out there. We're still sitting at 104 degrees in El Paso, a little bit cooler up in Las Cruces. You guys are sitting at 98. Alamogordo, you guys are still in the triple digits. And these hot temperatures are going to stick around as well. If you're getting ready for dinner, maybe heading out for some date night plans, something like that. It is still going to be very hot out there. Make sure you're wearing the appropriate clothing, such as light colored clothing. If you want, maybe some short sleeves, tank tops, something like that. It'll be 103 degrees still by seven o'clock tonight. It'll be a little bit breezy out there as well. Tomorrow here is what I'm forecasting. 105 for El Paso, Las Cruces, 100s in Sierra Blanca, Guadalupe Pass, and 101 in Alamogordo. We're not escaping the heat, at least for the start of the work week. The good news is cooler temperatures are on the way, but they won't reach us by the end of this next work week. Something else that is coming up this week is the start of the monsoon. It officially begins on June 15th, so we're just about three days away. I'm looking forward to this. If you've been watching me, you know I'm a huge fan of the rain. So here are the dates. It lasts all the way through September 30th. The wettest monsoon is back in 2006, 15.28 inches of rain just in the monsoon months. Last year, we got a lot of rain too. If you recall, 10.08 inches of rain is what we saw. We'll see just how much rain we get this year, but the Climate Prediction Center has been predicting a little bit lower overall precipitation values for the monsoon this year. So far, you might be curious how much rain have we seen this month? Only just over a tenth of an inch at the International Airport and just ten or seven tenths of an inch so far this entire year. So we've had practically no moisture. In Las Cruces, you guys are just a little bit better. This month only seeing three hundredths of an inch. So far this year, though, you guys are sitting at over an inch. We'll see how much we get throughout the next couple months. Right now, our Doppler radar is showing mostly dry conditions. We are seeing a couple scattered small little green dots, which represents light rain. However, at the surface, our humidity levels are very low. We're talking about 10%, near 10% or below, which means even if there's moisture where the clouds are, as that rain starts to fall, it evaporates. And that is the weather feature called Virga. And it looks like some moisture coming out of the clouds, but it never hits the surface just because it's so dry. There we go, my graphic. All right, here we go. 70 forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm. That first alert will continue through Monday. It will be breezy as well on Monday, making it feel like a blow dryer. 